All right, hello everyone and welcome to today's training industry product demo, Simplify Remote Hands-On Training and Improve Engagement, sponsored by Strigo. I'm Elizabeth Parker, Marketing and Event Manager here at Training Industry, and I'm happy you decided to join us for today's event. Before we get started, I have just a few housekeeping items to review that will help you interact with our speakers and get the most out of your time with us. Throughout the event today, please feel free to chat any comments you have in the chat window and submit your questions for our speakers in your Q&A panel. We will be addressing all those questions uh, towards the end of the session. We also encourage you to share the information you received today with your colleagues and network on social media. Please include that handle at Strigo.io and the hashtag TI webinars so we're able to engage with you online. When the program ends, you'll notice the short evaluation survey has popped open in your browser, and we would greatly welcome your feedback about today's event. And as always, um, today's product demo will be recorded and archived on trainingindustry.com, and you'll receive a follow-up email from us with a link to the on-demand program that you can share with your team. Now, I know a lot of you are new to training industry. A special welcome goes out to you. Um, if this is your first event with us, uh, we exist to support the learning leader. Uh, training industry, we offer timely and insightful information on the business of learning through live events like today's webinar, as well as through website and magazine articles, research reports, referral services, uh, our podcast, that's just to name a few. You can find all the ways that we connect you with expert perspectives in the industry at trainingindustry.com. Now, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pass things over to our speakers for the day. I know they have some great content in store for us. So, MJ, Oliver, Yoan, take it away. Thanks a lot, Elizabeth. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Can everybody see my screen? Does it look good out there? You can just get a thumbs up if you could see it. Thank you. So welcome everybody. We're really excited to, uh, to, to give this session today. And uh, I'm MJ, I'm the Chief Revenue Officer here at Strigo and we're joined by our partners here at Zeneca. They'll introduce themselves in just one minute. Um, but first I wanted to kick off this session by going over what everybody should expect to see as we go through the, uh, uh, today's session. So we're going to start with some brief introductions about ourselves and our role, and then we are going to transition over to a demo of the Strigo product, the product that we've built specifically for remote training. And I, I hope this provides some insight to what we do. And then after the, the demo, we'll transition over into a success story of uh, Zeneca's implementation of Strigo last year um, that has led to some great success with their trainers and their learners. And I think everybody will find it very interesting, especially if you are grappling with this idea of, you know, kind of how to redesign your entire business around remote. Um, and if you also used to do in-person training um, and you're thinking about the best way to do it remote, it's going to be great for you. But if you also do remote training and are just trying to think about how to do it better, we have a lot of really great examples of, uh, of how Zeneca has done that. So I think it should be a great session for everybody. Um, you could ask questions as you go along, and we're going to do our best to answer them uh, during the session. And then at the end, we have some time reserved for Q&A as well. So uh, I will jump over to our introductions. And as I mentioned before, I go by MJ, and I run the sales and customer success organization over here at Strigo. So uh, helping our, all of our customers figure out if Strigo is the right fit for them and then working with all of our customers to ensure that they have a, a successful launch and can effectively use Strigo to, uh, to deliver training to their customers in, in an effective and efficient way. So that's my role here today. I'll kind of act as the, uh, as the moderator as we go through. And I'm joined by my amazing partners over at Zeneca, and I will uh, let them unmute their mics and uh, give a quick introduction of what they do. Thank you. Hey, um, hi, my name is Oliver Huber and I joined Seneca 12 years ago as a developer consultant slash trainer. I enjoyed like traveling around France, giving speaking engagements here and there. 
but I liked training so much that I joined the training team full time for a few years, being responsible for putting together our training catalog, finding the right trainer for each client, etc. But my greatest pleasure is in teaching our consultants to become the best Zeneca trainers possible. Trainers that know their stuff and that are able to share it passionately with fun, if possible. And it also goes with finding the right tool for their job, of course. So here we go. And um, for two years now, I've also been a CTO in Paris. Well, technically not far away, working from home, actually. And um, I'm really happy to be with you guys today. Thank you, Oliver. And hi, my name is uh, Johan Rousseau. I am CTO at Zenica in the city of Rennes in France. And I worked for Zenica for five years. I started giving training course uh, five years ago, uh, thanks to Oliver. Uh, and since I never stop, um, I am not a full-time trainer. I give one or two training per month. And I also work for our client on development, architecture, using cloud technology, uh, containerization, and Kubernetes. I am very happy to be here with you to share about remote training and Strigo. Thank you so much, Joan. That's great. And uh, we'll hear from both of you a little bit later as we progress through the session. Thank you for joining today. And what I wanted to do quickly is just talk a little bit about Strigo and what we do. Um, our company was actually founded in 2017 and it was founded as a consulting company. So we are a product that's built for trainers by trainers. And what we quickly discovered back when the, the company was first founded was that there aren't a lot of great tools on the market that were built for remote training online. The communication tools like WebEx and Zoom, et cetera, the ones that we use all day now that we're in a remote world, uh, but no tools out there that were specifically built for training. So what Trigo has built is a customer training cloud and it's a purpose-built platform that purpose is for delivering uh, remote training, virtual instructor-led and on-demand e-learning and, uh, and having a hands-on training experience within that classroom. So not only passive uh, education you know, through presentation, but the hands-on piece with it that we all know is so important to deliver effective training and have effective learning. So we have that hands-on training uh, as part of our platform, which we'll, we'll see a little bit later today when I go into the demo and show everybody around. And uh, we can really deliver that training in any format, anytime, directly through the browser, no installed software on your desktop. And uh, we're really proud of the solution that we built and, and hope everybody finds it interesting as we kind of walk through it today. Just a couple other, um, you know, some background on Strigo. We've, we've delivered 3 million hours worth of training for the Strigo platform. And we have 80,000 registered users on Strigo. Um, so that's instructors and students who have taken a course on Strigo. Uh, some of them might not e even have known it, um, have gone through one of our, our customers here, taken a training and not known that they were using Strigo. Um, here are some of the great customers who are, who are using Strigo, everybody from Mirantis to Elastic, VMware, MongoDB, obviously our great partners here from Zeneca who are joining us today, um, all the way down to uh, NCR. So uh, a lot of great customers who are using us to, to train and uh, to train on their software to drive usage and adoption. So, so that's us. You know, this is really why the, the benefit and the value of Strigo overall, we kind of think of this across four different pillars. You know, one is a, a streamlined, and I know the, the session today is around how to streamline your training, how to make it easier. Um, we built a tool to be a all-inclusive solution, all-in-one, where you have your lab environment, your audio-visual tools together, and then all of the things that you need to deliver a great session uh, content-wise. So whiteboard, slide deck, all of the tools that you typically use when you're delivering learning are, are all in the Strigo platform. Um, and why that's valuable is that you don't have to jump from app to app. It's very easy for instructors to fire up a classroom session, students to join and have, have everything you need right there, not ask the students to have to download software, jump from app to app uh, to train, get distracted. Because um, one of the things that we all know is now that we're doing remote training, you're competing with everything that's on a desktop, Slack messages, email, et cetera. So minimizing those distractions uh, makes learning much more effective. Um, trainees really love it. So easier to connect with the platform, as I was mentioning before, you don't have to download multiple apps, you go directly through the browser. 
and your lab is set up there immediately for you. And we'll talk a little bit more about labs and what they mean for folks who may not have used them before. Um, but it's basically a, a place for the student to practice hands-on exercises within the classroom. And uh, there's not a lot of setup required, so they could jump in and just start working on their coursework without having to wor worry about logging into multiple systems and that sort of thing. So it makes the, uh, the enrollment and then joining a class uh, very simple. And then we have a, an infrastructure for those labs. So we spin up virtual machines that allow students to train on their own lab. And we, uh, we spin those up at runtime. So as soon as a student joins, joins the classroom, we create a lab environment for them. And why that's great for instructors is, and, and some of you who may be using AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform to deliver your trainings online, uh, you'll know that this is very valuable because you don't have to go in and set up those classroom environments for each student. They just spin up for you when you create the classroom. So it makes it a lot easier for instructors to administer their classrooms, set them up and then break them down after. Um, and then the last piece here is like really quick time to value. You know, we say that it takes weeks for customers to, to set up their trainings on Strigo and start going, uh, but we literally have uh, customers who have set it up in, in hours uh, or a couple of days, just getting their curriculum and their, their, their classroom online and then starting to go and, and start to see value in training. So very simple setup process when you're delivering a simple training. And then we have ways to, uh, to deliver much more complex trainings if that's something that's in, important to you as an instructor. So those are kind of the four pillars that we look at uh, in terms of value of our classroom. And with that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop sharing my screen for one second because I'm going to reshare our demo environment in Strigo so everybody can, can see that. So just give me one second to do that. I will be right back. Okay, perfect. So um, this is the Strigo classroom environment. And I'll actually turn my video off in Zoom right now because everybody that's watching, you should be able to see me inside of the Strigo classroom. In this demonstration, I am going to play the role of the instructor within Strigo. And so immediately what you could see is that you have the classroom environment here from an instructor's perspective. So I have my slide decks, I have the next slide that's coming along. And then I also have the video up here, which everybody in the classroom will see. All of my students will see my video and they'll hear my audio coming through. We started our meeting on Zoom today, so my audio is muted within Strigo, but it's important to note that our customers don't use multiple environments when they're using Strigo. They're just using Strigo and they use Strigo for the audio and visual, so they don't need a Zoom or a WebEx or any other type of tool to deliver their, their training. And what you also immediately see is in the lower left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a chat window. So we have a chat capability here, which is what you'd expect in the classroom environment. And when I chat in the lower right-hand side, you know, all of my students can, can join and chat in there and you can see Bench and say, hey, everybody, this is a public and private chat. You can have a private one-on-one -on -one conversation with our instructor or with, with another student or with a teaching assistant if you need some additional help or you can just message out to the entire classroom like you see everybody doing here, chiming in the, the lower right side. And then I'm gonna flip over to my panel here. And as an instructor, I can see the students that are in my class. I just have three students today, Aaron, Ben, and Navo. They're all students in my classroom. So I could see them immediately on the right hand side. And then on their side of the student view, they have the ability to come in here and click this button to, to raise their hand. So you guys can raise your hand and everybody in the class can start to see that here. And why this is a really important feature within Strigo is because our instructors sometimes like to keep the class muted. Just avoid some distract, distraction and being in the class, crosstalk, that sort of thing. And through the communication panel up, up here that I'm mousing over right underneath where the video stream is, you're able to kind of mute everybody in the class, unmute everybody in the class. And some instructors like to mute everybody and then ask the students to unmute uh, or unmute each student as they're going through. And I, I have the ability to uh, lower Ben's hand. And then I also have the ability to unmute Ben. And if I did that, um, Ben could ask a question. When Ben asked the question, you would see his uh, video stream here and the entire class would be able to hear Ben ask his question. So just wanted to show everybody some of the communication features that we have here within the Strigo platform. I think these are things that everybody's familiar with and would expect. 
And I wanted to jump over and show uh, a couple other pieces of the platform that are really interesting. And I'm jumping over to the left-hand side of the Spigo classroom environment. And on the left-hand side here, we have our navigation panel. So you could see the icons here on the left. And if I mouse over them, you can see the alt text to show you what these, uh, what these features are in the classroom. But right above that, where we'll start is this toggle button. And this toggle button allows all the students to be off in their own world, working on their own labs or looking at the whiteboard uh, or navigating around the classroom as they wish. And if they toggle this button to the right, which I'm gonna ask all my students to do within the classroom, then they see what I'm presenting on my screen. So this is a really great way for instructors to uh, instruct their students to, if one of the students gets lost or they don't know where they are in the classroom, they can just toggle this back to the right and then they find their way by seeing what the instructor's presenting on the screen. So it's a, it's a way to keep everybody on the same page, which is, I think, uh, for a lot of the instructors out there today that are listening, that sometimes is difficult, especially when you're managing larger courses, uh, keeping everybody on the same page could be, could be a challenge. So just gonna demonstrate a, a few of the, the features here in the classrooms, what you'd expect as a student. Um, I am imagine that I'm a delivering a, a session here and just for the sake of this simulation, we're using Tableau, which is data visualization software as part of this session. And when I kind of walk through, you could see I could start the session where my students are seeing my slides and I'm delivering some content to start giving some background on not only Tableau, but you know, visual analysis, what that means, how that actually works. And as I'm describing that, maybe what I wanna do is jump over here and uh, use an example to dig a, li a little bit deeper into Tableau. And so since we're talking about Tableau and data visualization, I could you know, talk about data tables, views, you know, primary keys, data warehousing, you know, something like that, you get the point. Um, we're not here to talk about Tableau today, we're here to talk about Strigo. I just wanna show everybody that you have the ability to create a, kind of like a, a deeper example by using this whiteboard feature. It's also really great too, when you have a class that's packed and you're having some great questions come through the chat window, but maybe you wanna park those for later, you come in here and start using this as a, a parking lot for the questions that are coming through. A very useful feature. So let's imagine that I'm done giving my demonstration on the whiteboard here within Strigo. And what I really wanna do is uh, continue on and talk a little bit more about Tableau. And I give a demonstration here. And then what I'd like to do is jump over and show everybody my, uh, my lab. And so I'm gonna jump over to, to my lab now. And so when we say lab, I just wanted to pause and take one second and explain to everybody what we mean by a lab. So within this lab, this is my, uh, my hands-on um, area of the classroom where I can demonstrate examples for, for the scenario today we're using Tableau. So as you can see, when I jumped over here, I actually have a, um, a virtual machine running in the background and I have a version of Tableau installed on that virtual machine. And each one of my students in the class has a unique version of Tableau. So they all have their own unique hands-on environment that they can work on themselves and kind of go through and complete the exercises as we're going through the coursework. Um, this is really valuable, obviously, because you get that hands-on component and everybody has their own unique environment. And like I said earlier in the session, it kind of just boots up right away when the students enter the classroom. And so for today's example, I just wanna show you, you know, maybe I want to open up a file here in Tableau. So I come in here and that file is, is opening up. And imagine that I'm just giving a demonstration and I'm going through a piece of software. Again, we're not here to, to talk about Tableau today. So I'm not gonna show you any examples in here, but you get the point. I am uh, delivering a, a hands-on exercise and showing everybody before I ask them to go and participate in the, the hands-on portion of the classroom, which I'm gonna do right now. So I have three of my colleagues here in the classroom I'm gonna ask them to all jump over to their individual labs because let's imagine we're in a scenario where I'm asking them to do some hands-on work within the, uh, within, the, within the Spigo platform and with our class session today. And so what I'm showing everybody now is our administration panel at the back end. And I'm mousing over in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you see our kind of quick engagement panel on the lower left. And I could see that 75% of the 
classroom is engaged. And that is because Ben happens to be inactive in the class. Um, and when Ben's inactive, I could say, hey, I just wanted to make sure that everybody is, is in their class, in their lab, working in their lab um, and make an announcement. And when I did that, I could see that Ben jumped over here and became active again. And so I could see now that all of the students are active and I could see exactly where they are in the Strigo classroom environment. So Aaron is a student, if, uh, taking it from the top, he's uh, not following the presenter screen. That's good because I asked everybody to go into their own lab and he happens to be in his lab, lab session here that's running. So um, if I wanted to take a quick peek and start to gauge where everybody is in the classroom, I could actually come in here and visit their lab. So I could click this button here and you could see right here that Aaron has Tableau open up on his site. And I could say, hey, Aaron, I'm gonna come in here and open up this old cup file for you. And I could actually not only look over his shoulder, but I could uh, direct him to where he needs to be. Uh, a really important feature, this is something that we really love about Strigo because what it enables us to do is get the same value that you typically get in a classroom setting that's face-to-face where the instructor can walk around the room, see what's on everybody's screen, and help them out with exercises, which we all know gets lost in, in a remote environment. So we designed this feature uh, for instructors to be able to have that same type of experience with their students and connect with their students in a, uh, in a different way. Um, so I'm gonna jump into Ben's, uh, Ben's lab right now. Um, so he's on his lab. And let's just imagine a world where Ben has a, ben has a question. Um, he has the ability to, up in the upper right-hand side of his page, he has the ability to call for assistance. And so I can see that on my admin screen here, Ben just asked for assistance, so did Navo. So I know that two of my students, my, my students need a little help. And what I could do is I could jump over here back to Ben's lab and I can initiate a one-on-one -on -one session with Ben. So I'm gonna go ahead and send him an invite here. And just imagine a world where the class is going on, but some of the students need a little additional hand-holding. Hey Ben, what's going on? Um, I could jump in here and Ben and I can now have a private conversation. So the rest of the classroom doesn't hear this. I could help him and you know, I can see right here right away, you know, Ben's told me that, you know, he has trouble getting to or opening up the file, the World Cup file that we we're talking about before. Um, he doesn't know how to get there. So I can come in here, I can take control of the screen, I can show him where to go, and Ben and I can have a private conversation. So obviously this is very helpful, especially when you run larger courses where you have many students in there and you wanna make sure that they're getting a, a personalized experience, personal touch and some hand-holding it ends up being a, uh, a really valuable experience, not only for the instructors who know where everybody is, but also for the students themselves. So thanks a lot, Ben, solved your issue. Now I can go back to the, the session. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this with Ben. And now I'm rest assured that he's exactly where he needs to be in the classroom. Another great feature here is that I can start to see if, if, uh, if students in the classroom aren't really paying attention um, to what's going on in the class. Like say, you know, Ben was going over to the whiteboard and Navo is looking at the slides and, you know, Aaron's kind of like over in his lab uh, or he's gone inactive. Like I can see this here and you can start to see in real time um, their, their activity changing. So Ben's kind of changing from slides back to lab. I kind of know where everybody is. And so this, this feature here gives the instructor the ability to, to, to kind of adjust and course correct the session in real time because they can kind of see where everybody's going if they are paying attention to the slides. Maybe something was covered that was confusing and everybody's going back to try to learn and understand what that meant before they go onto their labs. Or like Aaron here today, maybe Aaron's just looking at his email or looking at Slack and I could see how many people are interactive. So you can kind of keep your eye on the classroom and make sure that everybody that's in the class is paying attention and that they're receiving the training that you're delivering. And here's a, this is another you know, value to Strigo and why we designed the platform this way is for instructors to be able to uh, really, at the end of the day, deliver effective training classes. So I just wanted to show a couple other features here um, within the the admin platform uh, aside of Strigo. The, the kind of like second to last here is the, the screen share feature. So I'm actually able to share my screen within Strigo. 
Um, I'm not gonna do it today for the purpose of this exercise, but just know that it's here. And I wanted to point this out because I also wanted to reiterate the fact that uh, Strigo is an all one platform. You don't need a Zoom to share your screen. The instructor could share their, their screen here if they wanted to share a document uh, on their, their desktop or anything that they wanted to that's outside of the classroom environment. They can just come here and share the screen. So it's a really helpful feature that allows the, the instructor to connect with students in a, in a more meaningful way. And then you also have uh, the ability for very technical trainings. And I know we have over 100 people in the session today. So I've seen that some of you are delivering technical training. We have the ability to uh, come in here, you know, write some code snippets out. And every piece of code that I write here, if I'm trying to deliver a very technical training, would actually all of my students would see those pieces of code. And if you're trying to work on something collaboratively or the instructor just wants to deliver a code snippet down that the students use in their lab, it's a, uh, a really great feature for, for instructors that are delivering technical training. Um, you could have multiple code snippet boxes here uh, in different languages and kind of see all the languages here. Um, and that's available to, to all of the instructors in, in our classroom as well. Um, so, I wanted to uh, I wanted to, to kind of end the demo session there because we have a lot to talk about with Zeneca and I want folks to be able to answer questions. Um, but this is the the basics of the the Strigo platform from an administrator's view. So you can kind of see the fact that we built something that's all in one that uh, instructors really love because it's easy to navigate, administer, look over everyone's shoulder, see where everybody is, and start to deliver an effective training. And students really love it too, because it's either platform to log in directly from the URL, no installed software needed. And then you have that hands-on lab environment and experience right here that the, uh, that the students can, can use to have hands-on a portion of the learning. So let me go ahead and, uh, and there, and I'm going to jump back over to my slide deck and we're going to hand it over to our friends at Zeneca to talk a little bit more about their experience of how they use the virtual classroom to move from a face-to-face -face, you know, training motion to a, uh, a remote training motion. So just give me one second. And there we go. Johan, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, MG, for the, for the demo. Um, no, I, I will give you a brief introduction to Zenica. So Zenica was founded in 2006, and um, we are now 500 employees uh, spread over 10 locations in the world. We have eight agencies based on, uh, on France and one in Montreal and the last one in uh, Singapore. Um, Zenica is a company centered on technological, managerial and organizational innovation which support companies in their uh, digital transformation. Denica's activity is essentially based on services, but also training. And training sales represent around 10% of our overall sale. And uh, among the 500 employees we have, uh, 200 employees are active trainers who can give 140 different training courses. Um, in this training course, we have a uh, different uh, and wide range of technology uh, like uh, web development, big data, cloud computing, and security, but also um, agility, design thinking, and management 3.0. We have to our credit more than 5,000 sessions and 30,000 trainees, and in the Past year, we given more than 4,000 hours of training uh, with uh, Strigo, which is uh, amazing for us. And uh, now I will hand it over to Olivier, who will tell you how about uh, Zenica went to from zero to 100% uh, uh, remote training in a very short time. That's amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Like I said earlier, we do love to teach at Zenica, and by that I mean face-to-face, -face, right? For years um, now, my boss has been after me to start doing e-learning, remote training, and honestly, it was not my thing. Uh, for me, an important part of 
great training session is also the break time, playing foosball, ping pong, eating together. And the COVID hit last March and we had to do something. Uh, since we only taught face-to-face, -face, it would mean no sales at all for the training department. Basically, I didn't have any more choice in the matter. And since we believe we need the right tool for the right job, we had to find a solution that would allow us to give all the training session that we normally give face-to-face -face over, over the web. We're talking more than a hundred different courses there. And all the CTOs from Zenica were actually meeting during the first few days of the confinement. And we used this time to think about trying out different tools. Uh, there were a lot, believe me. Uh, we wanted to do it right, but after a few weeks, we were already getting requests from clients to continue training in spite of COVID. So no time to waste, we had to do something. Yuan had discovered Strigo through our partner Docker Mirandus in January, only three months before. And that was an in-person training, nevertheless. So Yuan didn't really pay much attention to Strigo, you know, another tool. But still, we gave it a try. We picked our bestseller course, Kubernetes, opened Strigo, uploaded the PDF for the slides. And I told you we're developer, first of all. So we love to train too. And even our CEO actually was a trainer. And we give great importance for workshops and especially live coding. And that was possible with Strigo. With just a few clicks away, we were setting up a Ubuntu Amazon image and there we go. Actually, Yohan and myself even used Strigo to meet for this period instead of Meet or Zoom. Um, Yohan even added OBS in the mix to add our logo with this, um, on his video. We even turned a small movie to show how it was done and we started to train our trainers. We gave train the trainers every week for six to seven months to get most of them up to speed. Remember, we, had, we have lots of trainers and with just 40 minutes to an hour, uh, that was it, and our trainers were up to speed. And actually, our trainers were pleasantly surprised with their responsiveness, even with the Windows image or the Linux desktop one. Uh, and I had sales, on the other hand, asking me every week, hey, is this course available for remote or this one? We, we, we have a need for this one. And I just added it to a remote catalog, called the trainer and did some few tests and that was it in a few days. Um, most of our training were able to be like uh, given remotely. Our first client actually didn't even pay since we were not sure how it would go, but that was a success. They're the big winners. And uh, the Strigo team is also really reactive when we came up with new ideas, they implemented it pretty quickly. Uh, like the multi-participant camera, for instance, and we can even vote for the next features on the Strigo website, pretty handy. And um, remote, for me, it, it can be engaging um, as you can make it. Uh, it's different from face-to-face -face for sure, but at least the trainer has the tool to properly handle the lecture, the labs, visiting each student lab in a click. And if the trainer is a good communicator, it's possible. And we realize that even more now because if the evaluation concerning the course material went up, the evaluations concerning the trainers were almost the same, a bit more. It went, uh, it was better actually, but more or less the same. And it's really the trainer that makes the difference. Now I will hand it back over to Johan who will talk about our partnership with Strigo. Yes, um, thank you, Oliver. Um... Let's try to summarize the point that made Zenica choose Trigo to launch its remote training offers. The first thing, it's a uh, fast time to market. In fact, Strigo is uh, a ready to use platform. It's very easy and very easy to start with. You have to upload um, a PDF, create a lab, and this is all uh, that you, have, uh, you can create a new session and you can go. Um, it's a single platform. Um, you have chat, communication panel, lab, slide, everything is uh, in the tool. In fact, I, I think that for trainees, uh, using a single platform which gather all the functionality is very important. It's important for trainees, but also for trainer, 
Um, the single tool allows them to concentrate on the content of the training itself and not to worry about jumping over two or three uh, application. Um, we also improve resource utilization because with Trigo, you don't have to worry about create your lab um, infrastructure. It starts when you need it and it stops when uh, you are done. You don't have to worry about creation and uh, you can't forget to turn off the infrastructure because uh, Strigo does it for you. Um, without Strigo, in fact, you can easily forget to turn off your lab on your cloud provider, for example, and it can cost you a lot. And to be honest, I think it's happened to me several times before I use, uh, I use Strigo. Um, in a few weeks, we were able to launch our offer. Uh, and an amazing thing is that in November, the, uh, we sold more training than the previous year. So in 2020, it might have been a disaster uh, year for our training business. Um, but with uh, Strigo and uh, reliable and effective remote training, uh, it's easy and it's almost uh, a normal year for us on, the, on, on our training business. Uh, let's talk about uh, customer satisfaction. During the training session, we were able to measure major uh, customer satisfaction. And even after with a post-training evaluation, uh, the trainer performance increased uh, in 2020 and the course evaluation also uh, increased. And everything is based on 250 Strigo events and with a total of 1,700 uh, attendees. And what about the post pandemic planning for us? Um, of course, we will continue to do online training because now it's allow us to be able to organize training session with trainee from all over the world and all over the country. And uh, we will uh, continue to use Trigo even for face-to-face -face training because like I said, it's a powerful tool. And even in face-to-face, -face, uh, it's uh, you can manage a slide and labs and it's uh, very comfortable for, for trainers and for trainees. So it's, this is very great and we continue to work with Trigo to improve the platform and the way we use it. Uh, and we want uh, the best training experience for, uh, for our customer. Um, and now I will let uh, Olivier talking about customer and training feedback. Thank you. Yes, we were worried about our course evaluation questionnaire, of course, but we actually discovered that we raised the bar. We had better evaluations concerning both the trainer and the training material for the trainee. They were pleasantly surprised with Strigo, really intuitive with a fast learning curve, no time wasted. You can see some of the, the verbatim here. And for the trainers, um, well, we picked Strigo to organize public talks, labs, meetups with more than a hundred attendees, no problem. But we did add trainer assistance, which is possible with Strigo uh, simultaneously. Uh, it's wonderful. And we also use Strigo for internal events and training sessions. We call that speed training internally. And you can see here on the slide, Strigo even sends a personal training report for the year. Really nice. We can share that. And we'll now be happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much, guys. That was uh, that was really great, and really appreciate you sharing your story. Uh, one thing that I was thinking about uh, as I turn my my video back on is um, all of those courses. You know, obviously, being a, an organization where your business model, part of your business model, is delivering these trainings, you had a lot of courses, a lot of trainers doing a lot of hours. Um, what was that migration price process like? You know, you kind of had your hands, you know, your face-to-face -face set up and you had to migrate all of that material into Strigo. Uh, for someone that has, is delivering a lot of courses today and a lot of classes and is thinking about like 
how potentially daunting something like that could be. Um, what was the experience like for you to do that migration? Yes, we we actually um, worked with uh, our trainers um, and we had those train the trainers like 40 minutes to an hour, like where we just showed them how it was done. And when they realized that was um, an Amazon image, uh, well, they, they just played with it. Uh, some of our training were already using like images. So it was pretty easy to, to migrate. Um, and um, sometimes what we, we actually do in our training is that the, the first lab um, is setting up the environment. So if it's, let's say Node.js, we just download Node and we install it. And that's the, you know, the number one lab. So uh, we can do that, no problem. Uh, almost like uh, no setup. Uh, and for more advanced training, let's say Elasticsearch or something something else. Well, yeah, we do have some setup and with Strigo, we can like, um, Yuan can talk about that better than me. We can like edit some scripts uh, for startup uh, and that's how we did it. So it required like a, a few, um, a few hours, but our trainers are uh, autonomous on that. And that was pretty easy. Johan, do you want to add something? Yes, uh, yes. In, in fact, we, you, you can create some uh, image on uh, AWS to uh, create uh, a lab uh, as you want, but you can also create uh, Windows, Linux desktop, and uh, Linux uh, with only terminals. And we uh, create some small script, init script, to install, you know, uh, Docker, Node.js, and all the tool we need for the training session. So it the it, the most complicated is to create the first script, and after it's very easy because because in every uh, training course you can reuse uh, some uh, script uh, if you need Docker also on. Uh, so it's not very complicated because we already have all the slide and we just have to generate the good version of the slides and upload it in Srigo. Uh, so it's it's nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the, the train the trainer method is obviously something that makes a lot of sense and has enabled you to scale as you think of that such a large, um, large, you know, large scale training uh, operation that you're delivering now. Um, do you have your instructors create, create the Strigo classes as well as create the events and uh, do kind of all of that setup themselves? That, that's and, the great thing. And that's, yeah. that's, that's what we, we appreciate at Zinica is that they, our trainers are autonomous. So we actually, we've, with Yuan, we said, what do we do? Do we micromanage? It said, no, let's, let's, be, let's, let's give them that like, uh, admin power. So uh, now there's a lot. So we might think of like organizing ourselves a bit, but yeah, we let them create classes. We explained to them like to be careful, but that was, yeah, that was fine. And yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and we share best practice uh, through the trainer train the trainer session. And mm -hmm. uh, in our Slack, we have a, a dedicated Strigo channel, and we can talk about uh, how to um, uh, create a new session, how to create classes, mm -hmm. and on to uh, create some strip to install uh, Docker or something else. Yeah, that, that's one thing. We created a Google Doc how to with yes, Strigo. Yeah. And we just like let them update this document, and it's great because now it's a uh, it covers like almost everything. So when there's a problems like, hey, did you look the how to? Oh, yeah, sorry, thank you. Here's my answer. So yeah. that helped too. Yeah, absolutely. No, that uh, that makes a lot of sense. I think that's probably one of the things that that I, I know instructors kind of get uh, worried about is like setting up classes and you know setting them up in a new tool and the work that goes into that so uh it's great to know that you could do it in a trainer train the trainer fashion um you talked a little bit about like face-to-face -face in the beginning you know that's a it's a really effective way to deliver training you guys have been doing, doing it for a long time uh you know especially you oliver joining early in the in the, in the history of zeneca um 
you, you know, what kind of pushback did you get from the instructors in the beginning? You, know, you talked about that a little bit in the, in the, the you know, the, the, one of the first slides, but just interesting to hear if you had any, any more pushback when you first started to implement something new and, and, and kind of like a large scale like, like Strigo uh, from your instructors. Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that last question? Yeah, I was, I was just wondering the instructors, were they pushing back on using a new tool you know, yeah. versus uh, uh, some other method of training, and yes. and and how did you how did you overcome that, and and how are they feeling today? Yes, um, actually, that's fun because um, when when my uh, when my boss said like uh, we'll have to 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 do remote uh, training, um, I, I was not so so much uh, about it, and he said, "Well, then you're the best man for the job." <laughs> <laughs> um, since I'll make sure that works correctly. And that's what my, like our trainers also like uh, said. And I said, well, let, let's give it a try. And that was funny because with Johan, when we first, uh, like when we trained the first like trainers, they were like, oh, oh, actually that, that works. That, that's sort of smooth. Yeah, it is. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't believe it at first, but it was, it was definitely okay. Um, and um, well, some, some trainers definitely like uh, prefer like face-to-face uh, uh, -face, of course, and I do too, but um, we, we've got the tools like to do the job correctly. And well, we look forward to be again, like face-to-face, -face, but in the meantime, and even like um, if we're face-to-face, -face, like Strigo will really be handy uh, for the reason we just talked about. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that's, uh, you know, prior to the pandemic, we had customers that use Strigo in a in a face to face environment, and they would have the Strigo screen, their screen up on the, uh, their lab up on a main screen, so that students could follow along. And then it gave the ability to have you could either have remote training assistance if you needed to. Um, but yeah, it could also be used in, in, uh, in face to face. Um, yeah, that's great. So I think I also have some questions coming through the, the chat now. So I also want to jump over there and just make sure that, um, turn my screen share off for a second, but make sure that we're answering some of these questions that are coming through the chat. And I encourage everybody in the class, if you have more questions for uh, the, the team from Zeneca, throw those in the chat as well. We'll start to answer as many of those as we possibly can. Um, some of these questions are, are coming through are about the Strigo environment that we just took a look at. So I'll try to answer those. Um, so can multiple instructors, you know, engage with a one-on-one -on -one session? So yeah, you can have training assistants, you can have multiple training assistants in a class and those training assistants can all jump into the admin panel I showed earlier and assist with a student. Um, Oliver, are you on there? Do you guys use uh, training assistants? I believe you do in some of the larger classes. And uh, and th how does that work? Uh, you, how, how's your experience using training assistants as, as well as the instructor in the class? Yes, we use the training assistant when we have a new trainer uh, on a new subject. Uh, we uh, create a session with uh, trainees. And uh, for example, I will be the main trainer and uh, I uh, invite the new trainer in, as a training assistant. And I can uh, uh, sort of delegate the one chapter, for example, so he can talk about and show the slide and he, he can help me uh, to, ask, to, uh, to connect to the lab to, to help uh, trainees. So it's, yes, we use it uh, when we have new um, trainers and we have a very big uh, session with uh, maybe 10 or more uh, trainees. We also maybe uh, sometime, excuse me, sometime we have two trainers, uh, one uh, main trainer and an assistant uh, for, to help. <clears throat> yeah, very, very helpful. Thank you for that. I'm um, going to go through a couple of these questions that are coming through the Q&A and chat. So uh, I saw a couple of questions in the, in the Q&A and also in the chat around integration with LMS systems um, and the Strigo platform. So this is something that is absolutely available 
um, and you can integrate directly through our API, which is available to all of our paying customers. So you can integrate with that. And if you want to enroll students into a particular Strigo class from your LMS, uh, like Docebo or Skilljar or Corestone, whatever you'd like, just call our API and uh, and orchestrate that. So very much an very much an option. Um, some folks are asking about the, the background in Strigo, the black background is available in different colors, that sort of thing. Uh, currently only black today, um, for those that like to work in a, in a white background. And really what we tried to do when we were designing Strigo is make the classroom as invisible as possible. And uh, so it kind of the classroom fades away and the instruction in the lab is really where all the students are focusing. So some kind of design thought went into that as we were designing that background. Um, and we think it works really well for, for most students. So today, just a, uh, just a back, uh, black background. Um, let's see here, Can go through a couple more of these questions. Um, do we have any integration with uh, Slack or Discord? No, not today. You know, we're we're focusing on our our in-panel communication, which I, I demonstrated earlier, which is through chat. We are going to be adding some features to that this year. So the polls feature, similar to what we all experience as part of the Zoom chat, to make that that chat experience more rich. Um, one of the things that we think is really important in Strigo, and there's some research that backs this up, is around the fact that uh, when somebody is multiple multitasking and working on different things has multiple applications over it's it's harder for them to to concentrate and focus on one thing and then be, they become less efficient uh in what they're working on and so we thought about that concept a lot and it's it's one of the things that i think makes strigo special which is you have everything in one place you know there's not a a, a need to jump over to slack or another communication plan panel and get distracted because again it's like you know you're kind of competing against these other applications that are uh, on the user's desktop, email and Slack and everything else. So um, we try to keep that communication within Strigo, at least for now. Um, someone asked if you could share other students' screens. Yes, you can actually. So you could do that by sharing your own screen as an instructor, you know, navigating over to uh, a student's lab environment and actually showing them uh, an example. So if you had a student that was a star student and you wanted to show what they were working on, you can always navigate over to their share screen, navigate over to their lab, and show the rest of the classroom what that student's working on. So it's a great feature. Um, I saw a couple of questions come through around collaboration and breakout rooms. And I'm really happy to announce that that is a feature that's currently in beta. Um, you might've even seen it when I was doing my demo up at the upper right-hand side of the lab, because because uh, I work at Strigo, I have some of these demo, uh, some of these beta features that we're testing out. And uh, we will be launching that, that breakout feature soon. And we're really excited about it. It gives all the students a way to uh, get together in one room, kind of segment their classroom out to multiple breakout sessions and have a deeper level of collaboration between the students which we know a lot of sessions is, uh, is, is really important. So um, that will be coming in the future. It's just something to look out for. Um, I saw a, saw a question come through around session recording. Um, that's something that we'll absolutely be able to do in the future. So record a session just the same way that you can do it in Zoom. Uh, is something that we're we're working on as well. Um, and then uh, I also wanted to point out one other thing. You know, I, I know we're running a little bit short on time. I'll try to answer as many questions as we can, and we will we could follow up with with uh, individuals here. Obviously, if you want to know more about Trigo, you can reach out to us, um, and we'll give you all the details of how to get in touch. And um, but I also wanted to point out that along with Trigo's virtual classroom, we also have the ability to deliver on demand sessions. So we didn't talk about that much today. This is really focused on delivering efficient virtual instructor-led training, uh, but you can also use the, the Strigo classes to deliver self-paced on-demand sessions that don't have an instructor and use those to supplement or create a, a blended learning program where you have uh, virtual instructor-led delivery and then on-demand delivery. And if anybody on this, uh, this call is interested in that, we'd be happy to talk a little bit more about that. Um, see a question around, you know, security issues. 
you know, for anybody that's concerned around like security of the platform, et cetera, we'd be happy to, to offline, you know, share our privacy policy or security policy, all of those things. Um, first we go. Uh, someone asked about passing, you know, grades back to an LMS. So again, the, the LMS integration is all through our API. It's, it's designed in a way that's pretty flexible, um, but for specific use cases out there, we would be happy to, to schedule a call, walk through the API, what can be done, what can't be done, um, et cetera, on our, on our API. Um, I, I, I saw there was a question in, um, on Zoom and security. Um, one, one thing we appreciated was that it was, it was actually, there was nothing to install. And for some clients that was a problem actually. Yeah. And, and since it's a, it's a web app, uh, that's, that was fine on, on that end. Yeah. Thank you, Oliver. I appreciate that. Um, someone asked too about the lab integration and running multiple lab instances. Um, you know, the lab integration is really simple. We, we'd be happy to, to take that offline. Um, you know, Oliver talked about it a little bit in the session of how you just set up an image. Uh, they were using Ubuntu in the case that he was describing and just kind of set it up and go. Um, but through our, our interface at the back end, you can choose all the specs of your virtual machine. And then uh, as Johan was talking about earlier, you can create an image and that image will include the operating system, the software that's installed. And you set up that configuration before you set up a classroom. And then once you launch a class, every student that joins those, uh, those virtual machines will be spun up in real time. And that's a real benefit to Strigo. We help orchestrate all of that administrative work that it would take to set up those lab environments for all the students. Um, Cause I know some instructors have kind of a training practice where they have to go in and create environments for all of their students. And at the end of the class, they have to destroy them all. Strigo hands that, handles that orchestration for you. Um, and so Elizabeth, I know we're, we're kind of running a little bit low on time with three minutes left. And so I wanted to make sure um, you had enough time to, to wrap up the, the session. So I may just hand it over to you. Um, before I do that, I just want to say thanks for everybody that's joining. You know, we have some questions that we didn't answer. The session probably could have gone on a lot longer. And I'm excited about all of the, the activity that we saw. We'll do our best to follow up with everybody individually um, for the folks that had questions that we didn't answer after the session. And I, I just wanna thank uh, Oliver and Yon for sharing your story. It was really fantastic to hear everything that you've done with Strigo. It's obviously a major, major success story. You should be really proud about what you've done, taking a business that um, could have had a really potentially negative impact from COVID and turning into a success story. We're actually able to sell more. It's a, it's, it's a really amazing and something you should be proud of, but thanks for, for coming on, spending the time and, and sharing that with everybody today. And with that, Elizabeth, I'll pass it back over to you. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's been a great session. I uh, really enjoyed diving into the Strigo platform and hearing the Zeneca story. So thanks to you all for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank and um, just in closing, I'd like to invite everyone to join us for some upcoming training industry webinars. You can find out what's next, register for an event, or watch past webinars now at trainingindustry.com. And all of our webinars are pre-qualified for a credit hour by SHRM, HRCI, ISPI, and CPTM. Uh, CPTM is the Certified Professional and Training Management Program and the only credential focus specifically on the role of the training manager. As a CPTM, you gain the skills needed to manage corporate training programs that align with your company's goals now and in the future, um, allowing you to demonstrate your expertise in training management and impact change across the business. You can find out more at trainingindustry.com slash CPTM. Um, I do hope you'll consider joining us in April for the Training Industry Conference and Expo. Uh, we're hosting it all, on uh, all online. Uh, it's the perfect avenue for you to meet other learning leaders to help solve some of your most pressing challenges. Uh, you can find out more at trainingindustry.com slash TICE. 
once again, thanks so much to our speakers, MJ, Johan, and Oliver for being with us. Of course, thanks to our sponsor, Strigo, and to all of you for joining us today. Uh, with Training Industry, I'm Elizabeth Parker. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, Elizabeth. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.